everybody? Welcome back to the Chronicles on YouTube. Today we are at the 2022 SEMA show in Las Vegas. First day, just got here. Kind of a mess to get my registration badge, but actually I got it now. One of, one of the first years in a long time where my name's actually been on the badge. <laughs> but we're here and uh, try to walk the show, see what's out here. Already got some pretty good cars here. Just in the pin paddock booth alone, we already have some good ones as you can see. But I'll walk the show, see what we can get. And we're gonna, I'm gonna be here for three days. So I should be getting a good amount of footage. So stay tuned and enjoy. So built by Legends R32 Skyline GTR. We have Alex's ITR here. Always on a rare set of wheels that no one has ever seen before. <laughs> Oh, I got a different, got a different June valve cover. This one's signed as well. Wow, that looks amazing. Look at that fade. Get some more of that later this week. Dyes Integra, of course. It's high Lux, and then we have Greg's P1. But man, look at this thing. Shadows are harsh right now, but. Give you guys a good glimpse of that later. Some more details. Pretty cool to have his car here for the first time ever. In the Toyo Tread Pass section now. 2J swapped E30. Big ass turbo. This is Arico's RWB Yoshiwara. Man. <laughs> Sarah's here. <laughs> Whoa, roof. It's full Lexan roof. <laughs> RWB seats. I wonder what motor setup it is. Look at the roof. <laughs> you sound so excited about it. Mercedes V12. Damn, it looks crazy in here. This thing must sound insane. This car was this color before, but had a completely different engine setup. Wow, that's sick. M120 engine, I think it's called. Beautiful. Garage active. From the new garage active R32. This one also has the full carbon floor, carbon seats. Full cage. Oh, you can look at the interior on the other side. It's an RB30. It's an HKS Turbo, HKS Garrett Turbo. It's HKS V Cam. Ready manifold. It's beautifully done interior. Custom door panels. Carbon floor. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow. It's good lighting right now. Yeah, I know exactly what that's like. 
Daniel Song's GR86. Brand new build. Again? 444. You're on a good angel numbers. There, get that glow. Get the glow. No, you're not saying that. Oh, the lighting is perfect now. So now we can get a look at this custom Hilux truck. I've seen this thing before at the Hoonigan facility, but now I get a better look at it. The 1200 horsepower 2JZ GTE swap in here. Full custom chassis. Fender exit exhaust. Custom turbo manifold. HK has cam gears, it's hyper-tuned manifold, hyper-tuned throttle body, fuel rail, everything here. See the interior of this thing. Absolutely stunning. Custom cage, rear wheel tubs. It's supposed to be set up as a drag car, so that's why we have the huge wheel tubs and fuel cell in the back. It has a rack top. Of course. Oh, look at your car. What's the story with this valve cover over here? So pretty much Kai Tanaka, mm -hmm. son of uh, Junichi Tanaka, um, pretty much told me that there's two other color variants, mm -hmm. which is the yellow red and yellow orange. Mm -hmm. So of course it's not really like, you know, the traditional yellow yeah. green. So I figure, you know, I say, hey, you know, you guys do yellow orange? Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, but you know, there's a yellow red, right? I'm like, really? So I was like, hey, let's do that since it's going to work out with my Flusher MD5s. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're like, all right, great. And then they found out the car is going to SEMA. Mm -hmm. And they say, you know what? We'll get it done before it goes to SEMA. So it worked out and then I got a picture with uh, Ball cover of Kai Tanaka, which kind of icing to the cake. That's sick. Oh, let's see something holding right here. Yeah. Damn. Oh, so the son is not exactly like a super young dude either. No. Mm. So it worked out, and That's you know, sick. I'm just so happy that you know they worked with me getting everything done, situating for me for SEMA. Yeah. Did they like overnight ship it? Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Because it was a really short, um, you know, request, short timing. Yeah. So I told them the situation, and they said, "Oh, of course, we'll we'll do it for for you." You know, since you're going to be going out there. Because I sent them your, uh, uh, your, you know, your link, oh, really? and they're like, "Wow," you know, because like, they saw the they didn't really see the actual full car, mm -hmm. and I just waited out, and then I sh sent them the, vi the you know link to your the YouTube. Yeah. And they were like, wow, this is, you know, they're really happy at the outcome of the car. So, so yeah, it, that's the story to it. It's the uncommon color uh, color variant for June. Yeah. That's another thing to add to the story of this car? Yes, sir. You know, because when you move the center, yeah. like the stamps are in there. So I was like, M5? Wait, so what is the story with the wheels then? The wheels are, oh, well, as usual, I find them on uh, Japan. <laughs> And they still do share the same um, barrels as the Mugen 16 by 8 M7s. Yeah, the same barrel. Very That's same. correct, yes. And these are, you know, 16s all around. Yeah. Uh, brand new. Pretty much the only difference with the MD5 application, they don't use aluminum um, mm. hardware. They oh, use stainless. Okay. Unlike the MD7, which obviously MD7 and the M7 mm -hmm. are obviously the same minus you know the centerpiece yeah they do use aluminum so these are just cluster md5s yes what search terms are you using when you <laughs> <laughs> i look up sticky dojo <laughs> <laughs> oh, so as alex was telling us <clears throat> These are Plusher MD5s. This is the company that did all the original prototyping and production for the, what became the Mugen M7. So they use the same barrels, stainless hardware, just the faces are different. He also has the MD7s, which looks more like the M7 face, 
But yeah, this is another rare wheel to add to his collection. They don't know how he finds this stuff, but he always does. There's also a Mugen Active Gate in back here with the Mugen Active Gate rotors as well. So, this guy's is insane, man. This is his ability to collect stuff. And this valve cover and everything. The story's behind this thing, man. I swear. Love this car. Oh, day one is finished. Now I get a chance to walk around the Toyo Tread Pass and shoot some of these cars without anyone walking around and interrupting the shot, which is a really cool opportunity. Thanks, thanks to Stan from Toyo for allowing me to be here after hours to shoot all these cars. But try to get some photos and then give you guys a glimpse of what we have here, uninterrupted. 8.6 is really well done. Pandem kit, all black paint. Porkmeister S1s. It's wild engine setup. Look at that header. It's all vibrant and stuff. Everything's so symmetrical. Fully operational, it has belts, wiring, everything. Craft square mirrors. That carbon roof. Oh, no black, no back glass. Completely cut out, or deleted actually. Some drift car things maybe. Wow, yeah, look at that. Rear mounted radiator, dual fan. Fuel cell here, carbon wing, roll cage. This custom rear deck here for the radiator. It's a radiator shroud. No dash, custom made dash. Oh, some likewise stuff in there. It's an Australian company. Somebody left them a cool Polaroid shot. Damn. Thing is serious. Very well done. How deep that wheel is. Sick. The Live to Offend E36 BMW. It's the guys that designed this kit. Wow, how clean the interior is. Oh, even the shift panel is wrapped. Super wide. Rotiform wheels. Had a personal wheel inside. Still has the back seats. Amazing. It's the Guichi Motors FD. I showed you guys this earlier. So it also has the Live to a Fan kit on it. Designed by the Kaiser. It's Mercedes V12. Damn. It's an M120 high compression race motor. Not quite finished yet. Just because the body shop took too long with it. Sick. And of course you have the full carbon R32. Showed you guys this earlier. Yeah, tread pass is looking great this year, as it always does. Some great cars here. I gotta head out to dinner now, so try to show you guys some more of this tomorrow.
this car right here is the one that I came to SEMA to see. This is Mike Burrows from Stance Works K Turbo Swapped Ferrari 308. I spotlighted this car on the vlog like a while back when he first started it. And it's definitely come a very long way. It's a wrapped white right now, but the car is supposed to be its factory yellow color. <laughs> and uh um, was yellow last week. Yeah. It definitely was yellow last week. RS Future Wing, rear diffuser. The goods are right here though. It's K24 Turbo. It's all kind of custom fabrication by Mike. 244 GTK. Crackworks manifold. Custom turbo. Custom turbo setup, I mean, just the manifold here. Yep. The intercoolers right there. Amazing. Hopefully, you guys have followed his whole entire two year long build series that he's posted on his YouTube channel. He even made a custom badge for it. 244 GTK. You can see a lot of stuff going on down here too. You can see the exhaust and then the turbo right there. This is cool. I've been watching this car feel for like two years now. It's cool to see this car in person. So many people talking about it. Super happy for Mike. Finally get to bring this car out and it runs and he drove it in here and everything. So. Pretty amazing. Custom vented hood made by the son of Cobra. You can see the CSF radiator there. It is at the CSF booth. So. You can see a lot of people either love it or they hate it, but it's here. The Liberty Walk kit, the Rotiform wheels, little tires. The wrap is actually pretty decent too. The magnesium valve cover. I'll try to get a better look at this car when he brings it back to the shop after the show. Dai Yoshihara's R33 GTR build. This is another new build for this year. Spent some time over at Greddy getting put together. And at Evasive, of course. Oh, the engine bay. <laughs> Billet valve cover and engine cover by Greddy, looks like. XRP lines, Greddy intake manifold. Looks like it's Cerakoted. <laughs> Another car that I hope to get a closer look at after the show because it's roped off here. You can't really get that close to it. This car which is the third Integra I was supposed to shoot for Acura. This is Sarah Choi's custom wide body, custom 3D printed full kit Acura Integra. I actually saw this car get put together over the span of like a month that it had to be put together. So it has Ray's Gram Lights 57 CRs, 19 inch, the full custom kit. It's supposed to, it's elements of it are supposed to pay homage to the Integra Type R, hence the rear wing. See the Giant Chronicles logo on the back. Yeah, you can see the inspiration. This is a wrap job, of course, it's not painted. Super wide. The rear diffuser. Actually has an NDF steering wheel and a Battlecraft quick release in there that we helped put in. So has the Mugen visors that I actually put on the car. 
she even added like a side marker here just to give it that that homage that touch Of the three cars, it's probably the most aggressive. <laughs> to hear that guy, he walked by and is complaining to someone on the phone. He's like, why is everyone standing around taking a picture of f***ing Hondas? Shows you the type of diverse crowd that we get here at SEMA. Yeah. Congrats to Sarah, super proud of her for putting this together. It wasn't easy too, just given the time frame and everything and all the setbacks that come with 3D printing a kit one off. The kit is actually designed by Walter Kim. It's a su super incredibly talented artist that came up with this design based on um, some notes from Sarah and the things that she wanted from the car. And yeah, this is the finished product. This artist in spirits wide body GR86 belongs to Evasive Motorsports. Love this kit. The lines flow so well between the front fender and this carbon piece here that leads into the side skirt. It's their evasive EVS mirrors. Look at the lines on this rear over fender. It's kind of perfect. A solid looking GR. I like this hood too. Maybe we'll need this hood for our car. Since we haven't decided on what kind of hood we're getting yet. You told me to figure out the fucking hood though. The front profile. Oh, another evasive builder right here. I'm trying to get as wide of a shot as I can with so many people walking by. EF is really cool too. The new Advan Oni wheel. This guy's taking a picture of a shirt. It's a straight EF9 conversion. It's 32. Oh, looks like salmon is in town. I have no idea. <laughs> that sucks to be honest. That's like the biggest Achilles heel when it comes to the hobby. Compared to the Jay Z, like, I mean, to be honest, Toyota doesn't deserve credit for that because I'm on Yamaha. Yeah. But like, the Jay Z was just so turbo? Turbo. Like, what it was. It was like Yamaha was like, alright, this engine's gonna the be. The coating on the intake manifold and the valve cover. Yeah. Yeah. Nice body lines. Carbon trunk. Second model sounds great. This Toyota pickup truck has to be one of the coolest things here at this show this year. This is Ryan Turk's Toyota pickup. I think it's a stout. Custom wide body treatment. All the kind of usual stuff that you have we've all come to know from his super cool builds that he has. The custom suspension. With some chassis even. It's full cantilever suspension by BC Racing. The fuel cell here. Yeah, you can see how the cage and everything ties into the body. But what's really cool about it is that it's built into the bed here and then the harness bar is on the outside of the truck. So it's really sick. The Recaro seats inside. Digital display. Momo wheel. I don't know what engine it has in it, but probably like a NASCAR V8 or something. If you know Ryan Turk, then he probably has one of those NASCAR engines in here. But yeah, it's super cool looking truck. So it has like uh, very retro elements to it that are original to the truck and some very modern touches like the arrow and everything. Very sick. It's 
still has the old door handles and mirrors and everything on it. I like the design language with the rear over fenders right here. And it's all finned out. It seems to be the popular style now. These are the tail lights now, I assume. Yeah, it's crazy. The HKS GR86 wide body. This was the car that was red last year, I believe. Yeah, they completely redid the car, put a livery on it, and then added the wide body kit. Now it also has the HKS GT supercharger. Filter, engine cover. Yeah. Maybe we need one of these in our car. Wouldn't mind supercharging the GR. Prelude that big mic help put together. H22. Some turbo manifold. Yeah, look at it. 3D printed valve cover. It's cool bad work. So Gato intake manifold. Eight injectors. The ride wire harness. Full Mugen kit. Electron Blue Pearl. Like factory paint. There's Mugen seats. Steering wheel looks like. I thought maybe I didn't have it led right, but I could have yeah. opened it for you. It's honestly probably too dark, anyways. <laughs> GoPro fucking sucks with this light. So the only thing we did, it's a Subaru BRZ. It might feel a little drive by wire. Rosh Ford drive by wire. On the body? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. The dash and the hybrid racing shifter. Yeah. What's the most like OEM plus? So the shifting is going to be crazy, but it looks pretty close to stock. Oh, okay. That's about it. That's all you wanted. Yeah. You wanted to keep it simple, huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, those are not simple seats. <laughs> the price-wise, they're... Yeah. <laughs> so, the valve cover. That's a carbon fiber vinyl 3D printed. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was the billet one is coming up next, but that's prototype four. Uh, make it. Shelly uh, at Make It. Okay. I've been working with her. So, that's the fourth print that we have. And um, that's the final version. The customer wanted one a little bit more... Uh, streamlined, yeah, horizontal, like he likes the 90 degrees, yeah, flat design, simple, and so that's what we're gonna cut and build it for him, yeah, okay. So, yeah, uh, I, I know that what Sarah was working with, same thing, Shelly, right? Yeah, yeah. make it, yeah, the, they, the lady, right? The older lady, yeah, the lady, yeah, the lady and her husband, yeah, yeah, that was cool. So, I haven't really decided how I'm gonna piece all this together, but today is actually day two already. I did a bit of filming yesterday, did some photos. But today you can see the weather is drastically different. So if I started cutting footage together and the days look completely different, that's because they are. So welcome to day two of SEMA. And now I'm gonna walk through the Toyota Tread Pass some more. Just cause there's some cars that I wanted to show you guys yesterday, but it was a little too late in the afternoon, so it was dark already. But we have some good stuff here. Tread Pass always has some good cars. This one in particular is probably the most interesting. Go for it. Yeah. This is a Rowie's Mitsubishi Evolution Wagon. The Varus kit. Been working on this car for some time now. He had an Evo 6 before, I think. Evo 5. And he sold it so that he could buy this thing and build the wagon instead, just because the wagons are super rare here in the States because obviously we never had them, but even imported, there's not that many of them. Vertex wheel. Oh, that cluster. Rally art cluster. 
Recaro Rally Art seats, Willens harness, the Vertex wheel, the harness bar, the spare wheel in the back too. Look at this thing. One of one bespoke body kit. Oh, this is a solid and joker kit. That's why the weave on the carbon is so different. All the solid and joker stuff that's made by Varus has these much thicker weaves. You can see it in the side skirts as well. So solid and joker front lip. All right. John Small? Yeah. This thing's pretty incredible. Roe always knows his stuff though. There's a Hypertune valve cover in there. <laughs> Try to get him to pop the hood later. Ganador mirrors. See the gauge set up here. Even that has a carbon panel that match the trim right here. Super well done with the details. This thing's badass. Good job, Roey. This thing is this beautifully done S30. Talked to the owner for a bit and he said that this is a tribute built to his dad because his dad used to own this car and he was in the process of restoring it and never got to finishing it, if I remember correctly. And now here it is. Looks like it had a speed form kit on it, or speed form over fenders at least. Got a ZG front lip, and then, oh yeah. Perfect, you're here. <laughs> I didn't want to pop it yesterday when I was shooting stuff, just because there was nobody else here. Hey. Okay, thank you. Wow. You want me to look under the car? Solex carbs. It's redone by Kyusha House. Side. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what Thank you. Super clean. <laughs> Bunch of Kyusha House accessories. Custom interior. The dash has been rewrapped. Custom door panel. Wood grain wheel. The two tone Recaro seats. Workmeister. No, work, work type 03s actually. Sorry. Why do you want me to look under the car? I think it's like a full rotisserie build. You guys see anything? I can't see it. Oh yeah. Super well done. So you guys had it engraved and then you sealed it? I'm sorry? How did you guys do the shift? So Rodak Garage from the East Coast. Oh, I know that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I asked him, I gave him a, a vector. Uh-huh. And he's like, it's, I had to ask my mom for my dad's signature, right? Yeah. So I gave him the vector, they drew it out, and I think he put it in there. Yeah. And this company from Florida, it's super small. I went online, right? Uh-huh. Ultimatepedals.com. And they're like, dude, I was like, can you engrave my dad's uh, signature there? Yeah. He's like, yeah, just give me the vector. I'm like, and they're like, dude, dude, they read the story. I gave them the story, uh -huh. and I said, dude, we'll give it to you. I'll give, I'll give you the pedals for half off, and we'll engrave it for free. And wow. uh, Formal Works as well um, gave me a key with my dad's signature in it. If you look at right here, uh -huh. um, so dude, dude, if, if you have time tonight, just watch these, man. This is we had a month after paint to put this together, mm -hmm. and try not to cry because it's emotional, man. Um, it's you know, it's it's like I said, we're just regular guys. We're a wretched nurse, mm -hmm. family built. That's my dad who passed away, man. I miss him. Yeah. Every day he died at the hospital that I work at. Mm. COVID. Um, I miss him. Miss him to death. Um, he, all he, all, everything he wanted was to see this car run. Mm. After nine years of ownership, I never got the car running. I bought the car looking like this. Yeah. Nine years ago, 
and we never got it running. It's a blown motor, right? Uh huh. And now we got it running. Um, and just I just wanted to tribute him, man. That's sick. Yeah, even the key and everything. Yeah. So I'm holding him every time I drive it. Yeah, I'm man. It. So, dude, the first time I started, man, in my friend's garage, mm -hmm. now I, I lost it. Bro. Ferguson's Rocket Bunny Corvette. Pretty interesting, unique build. Rob always builds the most interesting things. Never thought he'd build a Corvette with a Rocket Bunny kit on it. Actually work with Mira putting this kit together. Got a very neo-Japanese American feel and style to it, I guess you can say. I don't know. What do you guys think of it? It's uh, very Rob. Got some Brit historic seats in here. Nardy wood grain wheel. Seems very much a Corvette interior still. Look at these tiny little headrests. <laughs> it's sick. It makes perfect sense for these seats. Their rear wing. It's over fenders. And and I, I I went up to him and was like, dude, you won. We finally met in person. We've been talking for a long time. We met him and like, dude. Workmeister L1. So he's ready to win. He was he was ready to win. This kid actually flows really well with the body. It's K Mira, so you should expect no less. Like this spirit of Kyoto right on the hood. This is J Cray and Alicia's Subaru BRZ. Now a GR86 because it has the GR patches on it. But this is the fresh new build that they're putting together just for the SEMA show this year. And for Super Lab Battle, of course. But yeah, this is like matte black wrap. And then they had this artist, Gregory Sif, come and draw on it over the course of the days of SEMA. And he drew some boba on there. <laughs> but this is a full Street Hunter kit. RS Future Wing. RS Future Front Splitter. I think the side panels too. But yeah, it's a full Street Hunter kit. Um, J Cray's car is actually who I borrowed the TEs from for the longest time for our GR. So huge thanks to him, but he won't be needing those anymore because the car is way too wide for them now. Yeah, this is a good looking kit. John Sabal designed. A good looking car. They just gotta prep it now for Super Lab Battle. I'm probably gonna lower the car some more because it's sitting a little high right now. But overall, the car looks good. Flex on windows. Full cage by Studio RSR. Right. Yeah. Probably go over this car some more when we get it back to California. But yeah, you can see the artwork here. Kind of liked it better when it didn't have it, but whatever. SEMA. This is cool though. But yeah, good job, guys. What's this Honda Ridgeline? This Honda Ridgeline project built by Hoonigan and HPD it actually has an IndyCar engine in it. That's crazy. Moton suspension. Oh, it's in 
intense. The center lock on the rear. Traditional suspension in the front. Has NSX brakes. Yeah, it brakes with a new NSX on it. It's brought it for wheels. This is all custom. It's empty in the front, obviously. Full radiator in there still. Wow. It's for Caro seats. The reupholstered with the Hoonigan logo in it. Custom suede dash. PDM right there. This is the view from the back window. This thing is sick. Look at that thing. Got a big old front splitter in the front too. <laughs> it's Akio from Option and Stance Magazine. Oh. The view from the back. Wide open. They got this thing jacked up today, so looks very cool. Just walk people walking by and seeing a forerunner floating in the air. Has air jacks? Yeah. See the air jack system here. Brakes. Old school Volk racing wheels. CV Pros, I believe. So sick. Look at the 2J. It's basically just like a tube frame forerunner. Crazy. Show you guys the inside of it. Yeah, Alex is over there talking, talking Integris. Oh, here's the Built by Legends R32. So Alex is over here, showing off his car to his friends. It's the last day that I'm here. Not us here now. Save me. Save me. <laughs> You're going home anyway. Yes. <laughs> days now time for me to go back home to LA lay on the couch watching basketball not doing anything airports like 90 degrees for some reason probably because it's cold outside but got a quick 45 minute flight home and that's a wrap on SEMA thanks everybody I'm wrecked I threw up at the club last night and then threw up at SEMA this morning and then took a nap at SEMA in the hallway. And uh, I finally woke up and felt normal again. But all that only to realize that I can't just be doing SEMA like that anymore. It's just too much partying. Even though I don't really even party, I just sit there and drink. But it's a wild time. I sprained my wrist somehow. 
bruise my knuckle. It makes it look like I punched somebody. I don't think I punched anybody though. Um, but yeah, that's all for SEMA. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out. Subscribe, like, do whatever you want. Bye.